Okay guys, it's me again, Nancy Vastine. I'm sorry, but my camera does not pause. And so this is going to be a part two or part three. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to edit to get it back, to get them all on one. I don't know. So hopefully you'll come back and you'll watch what I'm finishing up here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I got my little... Uh, foam thing that I stamp on and it goes through the tissue paper it goes through onto the foam but that's okay and I got me a whole handful of stamps do you see all these stamps here we're gonna try and get them on this tissue paper and I'm using a few uh, Gina Aaron stamps and I'm going to use some Joggle stamps and I don't know. There's just a bunch of stamps here. And I'm just going to stamp this paper. Every which way. Upside down, right, no, I don't know. just going to make it look pretty is what we're going to do that's all we're going to do is make everything look pretty I wanted to use Gina's um, feather stamp I just think it's a gorgeous stamp and all her stamps are gorgeous My the feather stamp is one of my favorites And it'll probably come out in pieces when I cut these up because I'm going to cut them up in the size of the um, card, you know, the two and a half by three and a half or whatever it is, size it is. I like this little house stamp. Oh, it won't stick to the thingy. I wonder why. Hmm. It won't stick to the... Well, there it goes. It's cute, huh? I love it. I love it. And I love these little flowers and joggles. Did you just see that? Did you just watch me drop the ink pad on there? Did you just see that? That's going to give it character, guys. That's going to give it character. I don't believe I just did that. Oh well. We're going to stamp everywhere and if it gets an ink pad on it, character is what it's going to be. Oh well, what can I say? What can I say? I have a great big sheet of paper here that I'm going to stamp all over. That's my neighbor, if you can hear. They're doing yard work and my windows are open. I'm sorry you have to hear that. But that's just how it goes. When you live in the neighborhood. So I'm going to stamp over here off of my paper so I don't drop my ink pad onto the paper again. Because I'm kind of not careful that way. Okay, 
he's doing something and shoveling something and putting it in the back of his truck. Or maybe he's right under the window when he can hear me talking and he's wondering what I'm saying and who I'm talking to. He doesn't know that I have a whole audience of people out there in Cyberland that I talk to. <laughs> oh well, I have friends out in the world, even in Italy and in UK and in Ukraine and all over the world I have friends that I talk to. They just don't even know. He just doesn't even know. Okay, this is getting to be pretty, huh? And see, when we put it under this paper and we glue it to it, see how pretty that's going to be with all the colors behind it? It's going to be gorgeous, just gorgeous. And I'm going to keep stamping this, and I'll probably paint some more paper when I don't have you all with me when I'm by myself. And I'm here in my craft room. And I'll probably paint another paper. Yeah. Because that's what I do. Oh, I want to tell you guys, my son called today the one that's a new grandpa and I'm a new great grandma and he was had the baby and he had the phone on speaker and I was talking to the baby and it was he was just talking right back to me oh it was so cute he was cooing and on this is not gonna stay on that thing I wonder why it lost its oomph oh well we'll stamp it without a block It works okay. Anyway, little Riker was just a cooing at his great grandma. And I thought that was so cute. Yes, I did. Okay, gonna move it over. How about if I just turn it over this way? That would be a novel idea, huh? We'll stamp on it this direction. Okay, let's see if we can get the stuff out of the way. Oh, there was one other stamp I wanted to use. Where did it go? Did I not pick it up? Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Be right back. I'm right here. Don't go anywhere. These are Dina Wakely stamps. And this one is the... Uh, Scribble insects. That's what this one is. I want to use that one. And this one is her new, well, I don't know if it's new or not, borders on the edge. And I want to put some of those down because they're kind of cute. And see what they are. And so that's what we're going to do. Oh, and that's one of my dogs barking at the neighbors. And that's my husband yelling at the dog to stop. Bell. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry guys. Look at that one, can you see that one? Look at that one. Can y'all see that one? Yes, that's cool looking. See that one? I like that one. All right, let's see what other one we can put on here that's going to be nice looking. Oops, tore it. I'm not having a very good day today. Wonder why. Let's do the alphabet. Let's see what that looks like.
That's going to be cute. It's probably going to be upside down, but I don't care. It don't matter to me. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, that's exciting. Gonna do it this way. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm gonna try this one. See this one? Where are you guys? I'm gonna try this one. That's a loop de loo, it looks like. A loop de loo, and I'm gonna stamp right over my tissue paper and probably drop the ink pad. Okay, let's see what this one does. Oh, that's neat. Let's do that one again. I like that one. How fun I get so excited over stamps. I love stamps. I just love them. <gasps> cool. That's so cool. This one's like little flower thingies. Can you see? Let's do that one. My neighbor's talking. My neighbor's talking. I don't know what he's saying, but... Hopefully he can't hear me. He probably can though. I better be careful what I say. Alrighty, let's see what this one looks like. Cool! Yes! That one's neat too. Alright, one, let's do the zigzaggy one. Let's see what this one does. <gasps> that one's neat too. Can you all see that? I like that one. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that noise. Okay. One more. One more time with this one. Let's turn it around. Oh. Oh. Can't help myself, guys. I can't help myself. All right. Now we have this great big one. Let's try this one. See what that one's gonna look like. I love her stamps. Okay, here we go. for those. Let's do some let's do some bees and butterflies. Okay. Let's move that up here. Find my stamping block. Where did my stamping block go, guys? <laughs> you know what? I'm doing this on the wrong side of the paper. 
the wrong side of the paper. I'm supposed to be doing it on the shiny side. I'm doing it on the dull side. Oh well. That's how it rolls around here. Let's do a B. A B next to the bird. The mind frame. Can you see what I'm doing? paint some of these. I think I will. I think I'll get my markers out and paint some of these. Another bee. How cool is that? Let's do a butterfly. I think this is going to be a gorgeous butterfly. A gorgeous one. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Can you all see? a gorgeous butterfly. Now let's do the other. I don't know if it's a moth or a butterfly, but let's do it. Because it's pretty too. I might just have to cut some of these out and paint them. I think that's a moth. Is that a moth, guys? Do you think that's a moth? That's a butterfly? Anyway, they're beautiful. They just come out beautiful. Okay, let's go over on this side. He's right here under my window. I'm so sorry, guys. Mm, sorry, I don't know how to edit either. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's turn it. No, let's not. Let's just... All right. I want to use, I have this beautiful um, flower, but I think I'm going to wait and put that on another piece of um, tissue paper and paint it because I really want to paint those. And I have some other flowers I want to do also, but I want to use um, my stamps for coffee, coffee cups and teas. I use this on Josie's uh, deconstructive um, journal that I sent her, and they came out really cute. So I wanted to kind of just put some on here, here and there and everywhere, just. because they're cute. Am I in frame? Can you see? And so that's just a little coffee cup. And I don't have the straw. Wish I had the straw that went to that. I have a spoon, but I don't have a straw. I need a straw out of the cup. But I guess people don't drink coffee with a straw, do they? They just stir it. I don't drink coffee, so. But, I can do this. I can put, let's see, what is that? 
-hmm. Let's do, I can put some coffee beans next to it. Like that. And he's talking to his wife, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of irritating. Let's see. Where is my big... My big blocker? Another... Here it is. I'm losing things, guys. I got so much stuff I'm losing. These are a long coffee bean. I thought we could put those next to it. This is going to get all cut up anyway, so it's not going to really matter. But we can put some coffee beans down. There. Cool, huh? And then I have a teacup. I think it's a teacup. Might be coffee. I don't know. I don't drink this stuff, so I don't know. Sometimes I drink tea. I used to be a real big tea drinker, but you know, coffee and tea goes along with cigarettes, so I gave that up too. Because every time I drank coffee, I wanted a cigarette. And every time I drank tea, I wanted a cigarette to go along with it. I mean, it just goes hand in hand. And so that's the reason I don't drink it. All right. We have our cute little cups. Is that cute? Can you all see that? Do I need to take you out of the... There we go. Can you see the cute little cups? Now the wind's going to come up and blow my stuff away. Alright, there's just... A couple more stamps I want to use and then I'm going to close this video out because I think my battery is getting low and this is getting to be a long, a long video. This one is a, a bicycle. It's a unicycle. I don't know. A unicycle, I guess. Maybe a big wheel in the front and a little wheel on the back. Ugh, I can get it off of there. It's brand new. Never been used. I want to try it out. cute is that? Can you see? I'll do one more over here. Cool, huh? Is that cool? Okay, and I don't know what it is. If it's just some background stuff that went along with that stamp or not, but oh, oh my gosh. It's, oh, I can't get it off. I 
I want to put some of that on here. Now it looks like some writing of some kind. We'll see. Just some background stuff. That's kind of cool, huh? And then on the same stamp, they have a little hand. Finger pointing. <sighs> Thought I'd do that. Cool, huh? All right, now I have some of this background stamp stuff that I I don't know where they're from. Shy, Sue Shiles seven twenty eight, I think, on YouTube. She has them, and they're like this. Anyway, I thought I'd use some of those. Just fill in the spaces. Nothing particular. And you'll see that stamp set that I sent you. I don't know. I hope you noticed in the package there was a stencil that went with it. Alright guys, we bought this all stamped. And I don't know what pieces I'm going to use to go over the top of this. But can you see how that's going to look? Let me put this ink away before I drop it on there again. And anyway, then you can see the color coming through. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. And um, probably cut this off and paste it on here. And see how I like it. And then I'll come back and show you what I've done. Alright guys, thanks for being with me today and I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you later and always if you like the video, thumbs up if, and craft like a duck, quack quack. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks guys, bye bye.